Hi, this will be a short video on Xcode, Swift, and working with UI Bezier Path. Um, so here we are in Xcode, and I'm going to begin by creating a brand new Xcode project. And I'll start with the single view application, and we can call this, um, I don't know, Bezier Path maybe, right? And then uh, um, you, you can leave this at the default settings. I've set it for iPhone, and I've turned off core data and unit tests and stuff. And then I'll save this. Maybe I'll put it on my desktop here. You can create a Git repository if you want. Um, and there we are, right? So, so what is a UI Bezier path? Well, Bezier path is a path. It's like a line that you might draw. And you can do a few things with this. You can stroke the path. That means, you know, draw a line along the path. You can fill the path, so you can fill the interior, you know, of the path with a color, right? Um, you can also animate objects along the path, and you can animate um, the other aspects of the path. So you can animate the stroke being drawn along the path if you like, too, okay? So um, let's just talk about how to draw paths first and then how to display them on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a... Um, a new file and you know you could you could put this anywhere but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a new file that'll be a view and then we'll use that view to draw a circle or a simple shape okay so I'll start with new Cocoa Touch class and then I'll set the subclass of UI view and then I'll call this um, you know um, circle path how about that right and then we'll save this into our folder where we're working here Maybe I'll move this into the into the file list here below my my view controller, right? Let me change the um, the size of the text there to something um, that we can read, right? So that'll be pretty easy to read. Okay, so where are we, right? We've got our circle path view. So this UI view is a you know will be a subclass of the basic UI view, right? So UI view is a class that lets us draw things on the screen. Essentially, this defines a rectangle on the screen that we can draw inside of. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is inside the circle path class, I'm going to add an initializer, and I'm going to initialize. Um, I'm going to choose in it with frame. Okay. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to say super init with frame and call the um, initializer in our super class. And then we'll take this frame property here and pass it up to the super class. Okay? So this is a pretty standard procedure. Um, we have a couple errors here. So this one's going to tell us that we need to override the um, init with frame that exists here since this one has the same signature, right? So we need to override that. And then it'll say like, hey, you know what? If you're going to do your own initializer, you need to have required init with coder here. So this init with coder would allow us to um, initialize this from storyboard. And if you leave this fatal error in there, um, you know, it will crash right here with this message, right? So, so you have to implement this if we want to be able to initialize the circle path class from storyboard. I'm going to just initialize that from the view controller here, so I won't need this initializer, okay? So what's our next step? Well, um, paths can be rendered or drawn inside a layer, and we have a special layer for that. I'm going to say let shape layer equal CA uh, shape layer right? So CA shape layer is a special layer that's just meant for drawing paths, okay? So if we create a path, you can attach it to the CA shape layer's path property, and then you can set um, properties on CA shape layer that determine how the path is drawn or how it's rendered, right? Okay? So if we create a shape layer, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to see the layer. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to add it as a sub-layer. So this view has a layer property. So if we just type layer here, and this layer property has a method called add sub-layer. So this lets you add a layer to the existing layer, right? And what we'll do is we'll add the shape layer here, right? So we'll say layer dot add sub layer shape layer. So now our shape layer is um, is here, right? Okay. So uh, what are we going to do next? Well, now let's create a path that that we can um, 
you know, draw, right? So first of all, we need to create a, a UI Bezier path. So what I'll do is I'll say let path equal UI Bezier path, okay? And you can initialize this in a few ways, okay? So there's a couple default initializers, and what they're doing is they're predicting basic shapes that you might draw often, and they're just making it easy for us to draw those shapes automatically. But but you realize you can draw anything on a Bezier path. So like this could be any drawing you can imagine. Um, we'll use one of the default ones just to get started. So we can draw um, an arc with a center point. We can draw, we can use initialize with a CG path. We can initialize with an oval in a rectangle or a rectangle. Let's do oval in rect, okay? So what we do is we specify a rectangle and then UI Bezier path will draw a circle to fill that rectangle. <clears throat> so, or draw an oval to fill the rectangle, right? If the rectangle is not a square, it, it, won't, be a, it won't be a circle, right? Um, so what we'll do is, let's say we want to draw a, um, a circle in here that fits the frame that matches this UI view. So if we create this view at a size, we'll want the circle to fill the entire thing, right? So, so what I'll do is I'll say um, bounds, right? So bounds is kind of like saying, you know, self.bounds. We're saying bounds that belongs to this circle path view, right? Every view has a bound. So this is the internal, um, internal like location system for this view right it's a rectangle that defines the internal space for the view and i'm going to say hey let's draw a circle in that right i'm going to write it like this okay so there's our path so that doesn't do anything that just creates a path so this is just like a mathematical representation of the circle that would fit this this rectangle right or oval that'll fit the rectangle and then what we're going to do is we're going to add this path to our shape layer so we'll say shape layer dot path equals path dot cg path. Okay, so now we've attached the path to the shape layer's path property, and the shape layer can now draw it. And what we'll need to do to draw it is we'll need to say, you know, describe how it should be drawn. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, shape layer dot line width, right? This is how thick the line should be. Let's say equals, you know, um, 10 pixels or 10 points. And then we can say shape layer dot stroke color, right? Equals, and then we'll do uh, how about UI color dot um, I don't know how about red, and then we have to pass in a CG color. So we'll say red dot CG color, and you know if we want to do a fill color, we can add that too. I think it's black by default, so um, you know uh, why don't I, we'll just leave it like this, and we'll fill in the fill color later. But I think this will be, should be a red stroke 10, pick, 10 points wide with a black fill that fills the rectangle for this view, okay? So there you go, and then there's a lot more you can do with this, but this would be just the basics just to get you started, right? So we got a layer, we're gonna add our shape layer as a sublayer, and then we can create a path, add the path to the path property of the shape layer, set the line width, the stroke color, and any other properties, right? And you can animate it and do other things after this, right? But this would just get our path to show up. So how do we get it to show? Well, let's go back to our view controller, right? This is the default view controller. And in view did load, we'll make an instance of the circle path class. So what we'll do is we'll say let, um, how about CP for circle path equals um, circle path. And we'll call on the um, initializer, you know, in it with frame, right? So here it is. And then now we want to create a frame that we can that we can initialize, right? Why don't we just put rect here? And then what we'll do is we'll say let rect equal cg rect. And then we'll say this one's going to be about uh, 20 pixels x, um, 40 pixels y with a width of 200 and a height of 200. Okay, so there we go, right? Uh, let's move that over a little bit. Okay, so we got our, our rectangle there, and then since we've made a view here, in order to see this view, we have to make it a sub-view of the view that represents this view controller. So we'll have to say view dot add sub-view, and then we'll say CP or circle path, right? And then I think we're good. So why don't we switch this? I'm going to switch to the iPhone 6S, and then I'll test it in the browser.
hey, there's our circle, right? So we drew a circle there. It's got a black fill. That's the default and a red stroke, okay? So anyway, that's a quick introduction to UI Bezier Path. I'll do a couple more things in the next video. So thanks for watching.